For Thor Ragnarok, Taika Waititi uh, wanted to have as much of the visual effects as possible to be done using practical effects. Um, and just to use my guys um, to do all the other bits, you know, like, um, you know, blend shots together, um, add orange and teal filters, you know, remove Stan Lee. Um. Try not to use too much CGI, that's the memo. That's what he sent. Uh, replace alleyway with a nice green field on top of the cliff background. Uh, oh, because it looks way cooler. It's not even written properly. Put Chris, put Chris Hemsworth's shirt back on. Apply Kate Blanchett's costume and pop on some antlers. Unblur the Hulk and apply orange and teal filters. Remove Stan Lee. That was the memo. So. No, she didn't really break his hammer. <laughs> that was just a cardboard box with the tube sticking out of it, so, you know, so she could squash it a bit. We tried to use as many props as uh, possible because of the no CDI policy, but just for some things, you know, like for example, trying to use real antlers, that's, that's just a bad idea. They were really cumbersome, they snagged on everything, you know. In the end, I managed to convince Taika to, to use CGI instead. You know, and if it allows actors to feel more comfortable, then you know, even better. You know, that's, that's how you get the best results, when actors feel comfortable. All the shots of Chris Hemsworth were filmed without him wearing a top. Chris just doesn't like wearing a top. You know, he finds the labels itching. So. And I respect that. To get the Hulk look, you know, using mainly practical effects, um, we used all sorts of tricks like uh, painting Mark Ruffalo green and, um, you know, I'd, I'd say things like, um, hey Mark, you, 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 you big green weirdo, <laughs> you know, but um, you know, to, to make him angry, you know. Um, having people carrying him on, on their shoulders, you know, for the height, you know, giving him big green hands. Nightmare and pointless. He also used forced perspective, you know, like in Lord of the Rings, where, um, you know, where, where the, you have the actors stand closer to the camera and, and, and the other one's far, further away. You need to make him look, look bigger. He looks bigger, doesn't he? Um, it's, it's just, I, we weren't quite sure, you know, how exactly they did it in Lord of the Rings, because you know, for some reason, all of the shots of the Hulk, it just seemed to be out of focus all the time. So I just got my CGI guys to um, refocus him digitally afterwards, so. Problem. Yeah, we had to digitally refocus 230 shots of the Hulk, some of which weren't even used in the final cut, but it wasn't really much of a big deal because uh, in the end, we just made a CGI one instead. And it looks amazing. Thank you for watching. Please let us know in the comments below what you thought about this. Please let us know also what movies you would like to see us do a visual effects breakdown next. See you next time.